Could this be the answer to all of my problems? For those of you that are long-term viewers of TSPEC TV or TSPEC vlogs, you'll probably know that the heater in my car has never worked since I've been driving it. Unlike Mrs. Car, which is like stepping into a hot tub or something. You don't even need to turn the heat on. <laughs> you don't. It just goes through the middle into the rest of the frame. Just, his car is just an eight-cylinder heater with wheels. It is. Um, but basically, it was pointed out to me recently that this could simply be the result of a faulty thermostat, which is a relatively, relatively easy uh, thing to fix. So we're going to stick a brand new thermostat in my car, and I might have a working heater by the end of today, and you have no idea how much that means to me. big thing um, across like the vlog channel in particular I think about whether or not I can fix my heater um, and people on the vlog channel when I did a video on it there um, were actually asking me to let them know whether I fixed it or not. Um, I think also because some people had the same problem I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyway uh, so I'm going to explain what happened um, but long story short the heater in my car is now working. Like, I know that's like an oxymoron for a Defender, to have a Defender and working heater in the same sentence. That's, that's not possible. Um, but it is. Um, I now have a perfectly working heater, whether I'm standing still or doing 110 kilometers an hour on the motorway. Um, and it blows out hot air as soon as the engine is warm. Um, and it literally takes a couple of minutes for that to happen, and it's fantastic. The heater in this car is actually really good. Um, I'll give it that. I mean, having said that, this is like the only car I've ever really lived with. Um, so, <laughs> I don't really know what a normal car is like. Um, but um, it's like, it, it, there's something kind of cozy about a Defender heater. It's like, it's like having an open fire. Like, you could imagine a little sort of wood-burning stove in the center console. That's what it feels like. It's quite cozy. Um, but anyway, basically what happened is we filmed this video, um, like, because someone said, well, why don't you change the thermostat? Because that usually fixes this problem you're having. And for those of you who don't know the problem, oh, I think I explained it at the start of the video, don't, didn't I? And this is the thing, I filmed the, we filmed the first half of this video like weeks ago, so it's, I'm kind of jaded as to where we are in this process. Um, but so, so my heater in the car wouldn't work unless I was going like 90 kilometers an hour or faster. So basically, if I was on the motorway. Um, and 90%, no, 95% probably of my driving is just like around town and country roads. So I'm never going that fast. Um, so the heater was never working. It's the middle of winter, it's freezing. My car was freezing, um, blah, 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 blah. So we, we changed the thermostat, which was a pain in the ass to do um, because uh, even though it looks relatively simple because basically all you have to do is remove a few hoses, um, but each of these hoses is attached with these hose clips, which even when they're not rusty, are really stiff, and they're all in really fiddly places. Um, so that just made it really awkward, and it took a few hours to get them all off. Um, so once we'd eventually got all these hose clips off, which were a pain, uh, we put the new thermostat in, um, and uh, topped up, and I'll, you'll see why I say that in a minute, topped up the, uh, the coolant, um, as well. Um, I went for a drive, nothing. Absolutely um, freezing cold air still coming out of the 
meter. So I start thinking around and, and looking up new solutions to this problem because at this point I'm determined to fix the heater in this car. So the next morning Nissa and I come back or meet up again to have another look because um, we were having a look at the heating system in the car um, and we noticed there's a small panel on top of the heating matrix that can be removed with a few screws. So we do this, remove this panel and we can see inside the heating matrix itself but we can see it's completely spotless, it looks brand new if anything, so there's nothing wrong with it. So we're like, okay, well that's obviously not the problem. Um, and then while we're putting it back together, Nissa goes, oh, you know your expansion tank is empty. I'm like, oh, okay, I obviously didn't fill it up as much as I thought yesterday. Um, so Nissa tops it up and we start the engine, let it run through, keep topping it up, keep topping it up until the level in that expansion tank eventually stayed constant. Um, and then, so we did that, you know, it took about 10, 15 minutes and we just let the engine run for a bit. And then I go, okay, well, let's see what happens. I then leave and go out for a little drive, but literally after a minute or two of leaving um, Nissa's place, I have like scorching hot air coming out of my heater and I'm doing like 40, 50 kilometers an hour. So basically the combination of the thermostat and then the fact that it needed more cooling than I had originally realized. Doing those two things, and I've got a working heater now in my car. And you guys have no idea how big of a deal that is to me. Like, it sounds so weird, but it's one of those things that when you don't have it, it's, you take it for granted. Uh, oh no, when you do have it, sorry, you take it for granted. So, um, just not having a working heater. I've never had a working heater in this car since I've had it. Um, and I've had it for like two or three years. And I've been driving it daily um, on, in that period. Um, and it's and it's like it gets down to like minus 10 minus 20 in the winter here like degrees Celsius um, so to have a working heater like there's just such a big tick in the box for things that need fixing on this car um, not that many things do luckily because it's a pretty good nick um, but that was just one of the big things that I've been wanting to fix for ages um, and uh, at some point someone pointed out to me that I should change the thermostat and it worked so if you guys have the same problem, which I think some of you do, change your thermostat and for the love of God, make sure you have enough coolant um, in your engine um, because that will make a massive difference and then just make sure it stays topped up. Um, but that is that, it's fixed and I'm so, so, so chuffed. In fact, it sounds kind of sad, um, but honestly, when we fix the heater, like literally for like a week after that, even now, I get it, I was excited about getting into this car and driving it, just for the sensation of having a warm car. Like the day we fixed it, we fixed it in the morning and then like we got, to, I got to the evening, I was in at my house and it was just like Sunday evening. And I was, I was like thinking of things I needed to go out and do or buy because I just wanted to drive a warm Defender. Um, not that my house isn't warm enough, my house is perfectly warm, I just wanted to experience warmth inside this car um, because it was such a, a new thing for me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably rambling on a bit and getting a bit too excited, but trust me, you'd understand if you were me. You really, really would. Um, so that is that. Um, this has been a bit of a weird video, but like I said, I wanted to update you guys because some of you were actually quite interested in it. Um, and I didn't want to throw away all the footage we got from, from that little uh, thermostat fixing day. Um, so there we go. Um, know it's been working for a few weeks now let's hope it stays that way but anyway thank you so much for watching um, and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video or in all of them all of them <laughs> all of them <laughs> literally everything is gonna pay all my debt it's gonna find me the woman of my dream <laughs> this thing magic whistle Slower than something happens. Still nothing. <laughs> <laughs>